All right, let's uh, go through this second example in that problem. Um, here we have iron 2 sulfide plus uh, nitrate ion, three nitrate ions, and some acid. Uh, remember, the hydrogen ion never exists by itself in water. Um, it is uh, H3O plus. So H plus and H2O is H3O plus. And then we have some... Uh, nitrogen monoxide and sulfate, iron 3, and water. All right, so there's our equation. Just like before, we're going to take this one at a time. Um, what is the charge of iron? This is an ionic compound, so we're talking charges. Um, well, sulfur forms a negative 2 charge, and iron forms a, uh, a positive 2 charge. Okay, to counteract that to zero, All right? Um, now here I'm talking about these are two nonmetals, so that is a uh, covalent bond between the nitrogen and oxygens, and um, therefore it's not a, they're sharing the electrons. It's not they're not giving them over to make charges, um, so I can't really speak of charges. So that's where I introduce oxidation numbers, okay? Um, but it acts in much the same way. Three oxygens, each one is a negative two, um, and so total for those three, I have negative six, and then whatever uh, my nitrogen is, uh, minus six equals that charge, which is a negative one. So my nitrogen must be positive five. Okay. Um, hydrogen and oxygen plus one minus two, those ones are given. And they're also, um, when in compounds, they're rarely ever um, oxidized or reduced. Okay. Here I have nitrogen monoxide. Um, again, talking about the oxidation numbers, the oxygen is negative two. The nitrogen then must be positive two to balance that out. Okay. Here, oxygen, negative two. That's my rule. I have four of them. So S minus eight for my f four uh, times the negative two equals that charge of negative two. Excuse me, of negative two. All right. So my sulfur must be six or positive six. Okay, um, here that one's pretty straightforward. Um, I have positive three for the iron and then the positive one and the minus two for the water. Okay, so um, like before, hydrogen and oxygen we can rule out. Let's look at these other ones, right? This is oxygen. I don't have to worry about those. Um, so I have iron is going from 2 to what is iron over here? 3. Okay. And then nitrogen is going from 5 to, um, where's nitrogen? Over here, positive 2. Okay. Now, I accidentally uh, took out this negative 2. That one was sulfur. Let's go ahead and put that one in there because it also changes. Okay, It goes from a negative 2 to sulfur over here. Um, we found was a positive 6. Okay, So this is a little bit different. Um, but what's happening here? The 2... Is it's, the oxidation number is increasing, so that's oxidation, okay? Or I could look at it as its charge is uh, becoming more positive, so I had to lose an electron, um, and that's oxidation, right? Nitrogen is going from 5 to 2, so it's being reduced. Sulfur is being oxidized, okay? It's increasing, uh, losing quite a lot, eight, eight uh, electrons there. 
Um, so that is oxidation. Okay, so in this case, we still have the uh, reduction oxidation pair. It's just that the, the nitrogen uh, compound was used to oxidize more than one uh, substance. Okay, so the, uh, the nitrogen, well, let's look at it over here. All right, um, the nitrate is my oxidizing agent, okay? So my uh, NO3 minus, this is my oxidizing um, agent because that is what I'm using to oxidize the iron as well as the sulfur, okay? Both of those are being oxidized by this nitrate, okay? And um, the, the reducing agent, um, we, uh, you might think there's two reducing agents, okay? But this is where we're looking at this in terms of what are we using to reduce the nitrogen? Well, we're using iron sulfide, iron 2 sulfide, to reduce the um, nitrogen. And so FES is our reducing agent, okay? So iron 2 sulfide is the reducing agent to reduce the nitrogen in the nitrate, okay? And the nitrate is the oxidizing agent. That's what we're using to oxidize both of the elements, the iron and the sulfur, um, in that iron sulfide. Okay.